We decided to perform this test because there was questions over what type of force the adhesive uh, could hold against to prevent the saddle from being pulled off of pipes, especially clay pipes. Figured out what test to perform by basically knowing that in general the vacuities are installed in a perfectly vertical manner um, and so we the thought being that when you have the riser pipe attached to the vacatee if some other force were to get imparted that actually lifted the riser pipe um, or or pulled the riser pipe in some direction i.e. getting caught on some piece of equipment out in the yard uh, any number of things that we really couldn't ascertain. So we decided to take it as if it were an open pit and someone was pulling directly on the riser pipe. And so we determined that the open pit had approximately a maximum uh, diameter of 18 inches. And from that, that's where we put our two, two points um, on our pole. And then we pulled from the center of the vacatee uh, riser pipe section that we put a pen through and reinforced. Um, and we also found that we had to actually put in a riser pipe because with a pen only through the vacatee, the plastic um, actually ripped out before we were able to pull the vacatee off. And so what we found was that the um, we were not actually able to pull the vacatee adhesive off once it had fully cured, uh, which proved two things. One, the clay pipe is actually weaker uh, than the vacatee adhesive. And two, at the 48 hour mark, uh, the vacatee adhesive is fully cured uh, for clay pipes. And now um, what we also noted in the test, and you can see this in some of the pictures uh, here, is that everywhere where the vacatee was and the adhesive was, it reinforced the clay pipe. So we actually cracked the clay pipe immediately adjacent to the vacatee. Um, once again, reiterating that the vacatee provides additional structural support to the clay pipe that it's interfacing with.